Hi and welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. I'm your host Matt and today we're taking a look at the brand new Z170 motherboard from Anzarok, the Extreme 7 Plus. Earlier this month, Intel released its first batch of Skylake processors with the Core i7-6700K and the Core i5-6600K. Unfortunately, they only offered a very minor performance bump over existing Haswell processors, which was pretty disappointing. However, Skylake's updated platform does bring high-speed DDR4 memory to the mainstream and a cutting-edge chipset known as the Z170. There's already a huge number of Z170 motherboards to choose from, ranging in price from just $100 all the way up to $500. For most people though, the best value boards will be found somewhere in the middle, with motherboards such as the ASRock Z170 Extreme 7 Plus, which can be had for just $240. Rather than running a heap of benchmarks that are kind of inconsequential as all Z170 motherboards will deliver the same performance, we're instead going to focus on the many new features that ASRock's crammed onto this board. Other than the board itself, we also find included in the package a quick installation guide and support CD. There's also four SATA data cables, an IO shield, two ASLI bridge, three screws for the M2 sockets and one screw for the mini PCIe slot. We've also got a special USB 3.1 front panel designed to fit into a five and a quarter bay. The front panel uses the motherboard's internal SATA Express header to provide USB 3.1 Type A and Type C ports in the front of your case. ASRock uses a third party controller in the device itself to go from the PCI Express to USB 3.1 interface. So it looks like finally after a year or so, someone's come up with a useful application for those unused SATA Express ports. The front panel comes with a power cable, SATA Express cable, and a USB 2.0 cable. The power cable enables faster charging thanks to a 3 amp rating, while the USB 3 Type-C port features a reversible design and will support modern devices. The ASRock Z170 Extreme 7 Plus is a stunning looking motherboard that's heavy on features. Included is a 12 power phase design for the CPU and ASRock's matte black PCB which has been garnished in their new black and copper heat sinks and shields. The IO panel and Purity Sound 3 has been dressed in what ASRock call their IO armor. They say this newly designed cover protects crucial parts near the motherboard's rear IO so that they won't easily be damaged by static electricity. Truth be told, it's more of an aesthetic design choice and it makes the board look pretty badass. Networking support comes from a pair of Intel controllers. The i219V and an i211AT which supports teaming, wake on LAN, energy efficient ethernet and ASRock's full spike protection. There are plenty of USB options and ASRock has even included an AS Media ASM1142 controller on board which provides USB 3.1A and USB 3.1C on the I.O panel. Elsewhere on the board you get a total of 8 USB 3 ports, 2 headers and 4 rear and 8 USB 2 ports. 3 headers and 2 rear. ASRock's Purity Sound 3 is included, which is powered by the Realtek ALC1150 codec supporting 7.1 channel high definition audio. The Purity Sound 3 package includes Nichicon fine gold series audio caps, 115 decibel SNR DAC with differential amplifier, and a TI NE5532 premium headset amplifier that supports up to 600 ohm headsets. There are four full length PCIe x16 slots on offer, although they aren't all created equally. The first, or primary PCIe x16 slot, is connected to the LGA1151 processor and can achieve full PCIe 3.0 x16 bandwidth with a single graphics card, while the secondary slot is limited to a PCI 3 x4 bandwidth as it's connected to the chipset. The third slot is connected to the CPU for PCIe 3 times 8 and then the fourth is also connected to the CPU though it's limited to PCIe 3 times 4 bandwidth. So technically a three-way GPU setup would be configured as a times 8 times 4 times 4 arrangement from the CPU. The Z170 Extreme 7 Plus also supports three Ultra M2 slots, though users should note that they're shared with the SATA and SATA Express ports. For example, if the first M2 slot is in use, then the first and second SATA ports will be disabled. If you were to use all three M2 slots, then at least six of the 10 SATA ports would be disabled. So while on paper, the Z170 Extreme 7 Plus looks to offer a huge amount of storage options with three SATA Express ports, three M2 slots, and 10 SATA ports, in reality, the amount of storage that can be supported is fairly standard. 
For example, if you used all 10 SATA ports, then it would be impossible to use the M2 and SATA Express options. Therefore, I wouldn't say the Z170 Extreme 7 Plus is storage rich, but rather very flexible when it comes to storage options, which is a good thing at this price. Around at the I.O. panel, there's a legacy PS2 keyboard and mouse connector, along with two USB 2 ports. There are four USB 3 ports, two USB 3.1 ports, dual gigabit LAN ports, five audio jacks, and an optical SPDIF out port. The display outputs include a DVI port, HDMI port, and a DisplayPort 1.2 connector. ASRock has certainly managed to pack a lot into the Z170 Extreme 7 Plus, and we particularly enjoyed the flexible storage options and of course that USB 3.1 front panel module. Of course, the Extreme 7 Plus also looks amazing and is definitely one of the better looking Z170 motherboards that we've come across. As we've come to expect from ASRock, the board is competitively priced. For around the same price, the lesser equipped ROG Maximus 8 Ranger can be had, or the MSI Z179A Gaming M7. So we feel ASRock has delivered a solid offering with the Z170 Extreme 7 Plus. Thanks for watching this motherboard review. This has been Matt for Unbox. Unboxed. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.